In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create custom profiles, build folders, and do image annotations on the II-900. Let's start with profiles. The reason we create custom profiles is so every time you pick up the imager, it's in the settings that you need. Whether that's different acoustic settings, different color palette, whether you want markers on or off the screen, or you wanna have a certain frequency range that you're looking in, all of those things are customizable, so every time you pick up the imager, it's ready for you to use for what you need to do. Once you've got the settings the way that you need them to be, you're gonna create your new profile. Select Profiles on the bottom of the screen, select the Add button, name that profile, hit Save, and you're good to go. Now every time you wanna access that profile, just bring up the options, Select your name and start finding leaks. All of the images that you capture on the II-900 go into what's called a default folder. If you want to change the file folder that you're saving images in, you can select the file folders in the middle of the screen on the bottom. And what pops up is an option to create a new folder. You hit the Add button, you name that folder, hit Save, and now that name and that folder will show on the bottom of the screen. Now every image that you save will be saved in that folder. And when you download those images onto your computer, everything will pop up in a single file. Once you've captured an image, there's three things that you can add to that image. You can add text notes, photo notes, and tags. Text notes allow you to just type in any other details about that image that you wanna make sure get saved with the picture. Photo notes allow you to capture up to four different visible light images for things that might help you understand where that leak was or other important information in the report that you're going to generate. Tags will allow you to add other information to your image like the type of leak, the type of gas, the pressure of the line, or type in the location of the leak. The II-900 captures all of this information in a single file called an AS2 file, but if you prefer, it also captures images in JPEG format. 